Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today it's time for another farm update. This channel is still very new, so after my first mining farm introduction video, this is just the second farm update, which I want to do every month. Let's start in the biker corner. So not much has changed here, except for some rearranging and that I finally got rid of all the splitter cables on the machines. Just another safety measure, but I'll be making a separate video about this as soon as I finally finish the same thing with the L3 Plus as well. So I'm waiting for parts once again. In terms of profits, a lot has changed since I got them in the summer of 2017. But they are still earning more than they cost, so fine for me. Those are the Giant Plus multi-algorithm miners, so I'm especially thankful that the X13 algo exists. Go Onion! So let's continue to my open air GPU mining rig. Since the last mining farm video, the miner has moved from my office space down to the rest of the machines because of temperatures. The little thing is always changing a lot, so the last time you saw it, it was still a mixed NVIDIA and AMD rig. Now the NVIDIA cards have moved to the Octominer and the rig is only running with 4 cards at the moment. Another 470 is sitting in a PC of mine. It got a fan update, as you can see, because I really love those blue thermotakes and I had two more of them lying around. In terms of algorithm, it was on Kryptonite 7 before and after the fork. Now switching between Dagger Hashimoto and Neoscript, depending on what I'm interested in at the moment. Turning to the L3 Plus, we've seen drops in Litecoin profitability, so now I started to experiment with coin switching on script again. I'm still happy with the machine since it has long reached more than 100% return of investment, but it's again time to experiment more to get the most out of it. Then there's my little sickling buggy quadruple mini from Baikal as well. A memento from old times with only 600 mega hashes, but it's also working on X13 and Deep Onion. Lastly, there's the machine you have seen a lot on this channel lately, the Octominer. I'm glad that I got a lot of new experiences out of it and that I could share most of it on this channel. As for an update, it has not failed once since the troubleshooting process I had with Windows 10, except that the mSATA drive by Octominer has failed the day after I published the troubleshooting video. So now I actually did switch to HiveOS, because I just didn't want to get another hard drive and go through the same process again. I'm still waiting for a refund from Octominer though, so let's see. In case you were wondering, the Octominer is actually in the hallway in front of the mining room at the moment and the Delta fans are helping with the airflow even more like that. And I also almost forgot the smallest miner in the bunch, so we still have the future bit Moonlander 2 as well, mining script, and guess what, it has multiplied. <laughs> no, just kidding, I found another one very cheap on eBay, so I just couldn't resist even though these machines are just very, very small and of course not earning so much. But let's go back downstairs. In the room itself, there also has been some general cleanup, which you can check out in my second episode of Crypto Mining Mail in the top right corner. That's already it for this week. Not so much has changed, which you didn't already know from previous videos, so I wanted to keep this one short. I want to take this chance to thank you all who have been with this channel for the short time of its existence. And to all the newcomers, welcome to Cursed Mining. May your hash rates be high and have a nice week. Bye!